It's March 2016. Let's take a look at what has uh, been added to the Shizuoka Hobby Square. Uh, Shizuoka Hobby I believe Captain Phasma is brand new. I think she's been released by now. Here's the Falcon. And all the figures down below. Two D twos looking really nice. They they painted him up. He looks really really fantastic. And there's BB-8. Very cool slave one. And there's R2 with C3PO. Very cool. There's a huge box. Here's Poe's X-Wing. Um, has not yet been released, I don't think. And there's the, the regular X-Wing. It's already been released back in October or so. Still in the theaters. Probably not for long now. And over here, the Shizuoka Museum of Art, it has uh, Star Wars Visions Art Gallery. I'm going to visit this today. Hopefully they don't have like a bronze bust of Jar Jar or anything like that. Okay, let's see what else they got around here. Japan of Castle. <laughs> so here's where it all began. Wood models and then eventually plastic. <laughs> <laughs> this lady's being paid to pretend to be interested, I guess. Oh, wow. And... 
Oh, this isn't the, the, the Nuremberg Toy Fair. There's the Tamiya exhibit. That's cool. here since the last time. Now in this little section of the hallway they have different uh, miscellaneous stuff on display. Here's some lacquerware, some crafts from uh, local companies in Shizuka, and some glassware, dessert dishes, very pricey. Hina Matsuri, yeah, the Hina dolls. This is uh, March 3rd. It's uh, uh, the girls doll festival. <laughs> That's my daughter's voice. She, she wants to go look at the Tamiya stuff. She likes the, the decoration, the sweets decorations. Woody Joe. Tokyo Station. Maronouchi building. And this is Ebro. My wife's friend works there. I'm sorry, my, my friend's wife works there. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Ebro. Mostly they make these die-cast car replicas, but they also make a few plastic models. There's like little flyers for upcoming releases. And this is Woody Joe. And Hasegawa. They have all their Valkyries. I don't see very... Uh, not much new. Now here's the Harlock Custom Space Wolf. Actually, I want to get the, the Yuki K, the pink one. That, that's got to be pretty cool, I think. It's a SU-33 Flanker D from Ace Combat. And there's a Tomcat, also from Ace Combat. Yeah, neat stuff. Sagawa makes neat stuff here. Heinkel HE111Z Zwilling. It's the two planes kind of stuck together. That's kind of interesting. My camera doesn't want to zoom anymore for some reason. I apologize for that. I think I may have dropped my camera or something. Banged it too many times. There's the Falk Wolf. There's the P-40 Warhawk. You'll notice though it has British and American decals. I don't know what's going on with that. These are 132 scale. It's very big. Here's the Yamato 1450 scale. Hmm. Also, here's Hasegawa. The Akagi, the big one in the back. Here's their 112th scale collection of stuff. 
Um, I, uh, I'm currently working on um, capsule toy machine, so you're going to see a video of that pretty soon. Here's the Nagato and the Yahagi. Here's the Yukikaze and Mikasa in the back here. I can't imagine any of these ships, these models, surviving any move. If you have to move, if you have to pack up and move. I, I think these things are just going to get annihilated because there's so many intricate parts. I mean, look at the little wires and such. It's just, oh golly. Now here is stuff from Alshma. Let's see what, if there's anything new here. Is the the decatora the decorated trucks? There's a decorated trucks modelers club. Look at that! It looks like rockets. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, there's a club local to this area. Modelers are just like building these trucks. And Beginnies. Yes, dear. That's great. Oh, that's good. Wait, let's work on that together, huh? That's great. There's a little post office truck. That's really cool. Look at that. That's great. Kuntak. Count talk, sorry. Oh, lots of spacecraft. This is Alashima. Oh, wow, there's the Apollo lander. That's cool. I've never seen these before. Look at the guts. Hey, relax. Look, look at the guts. You can see the, the elephant's guts of the mammoth. Ah. That's great, huh? Wow. And this is the um, the Kankure figures. <laughs> Lots of news, no, newsletters and such. Ah, oh, this is old. This is, I don't think it was a model, I think it was just like a, just a replica. Um, it'd be great if there was a model of that. Uh, they used to have it on display in here, but not anymore. Okay, let's, uh, let's go back over here. Now this is the Bondi's selection. The Yokai watch. And over here is the uh, uh, Pokemon stuff. Dumbo, Senki. Not too interested in that. Gundam. I think these are all the Gundam builders. Try. Yeah. Gundam build fighters. Here's the uh, Gundam The Origin, the new series. They, wow, okay, they got a master grade of Gundam The Origin, okay. Huh. And got some more pamphlets here. Yamato twenty one ninety nine. Lots of these on display.
Hmm. That's interesting. They have some of those very old um, mecha collection kits as well. That's cool. Huh. Here's more Star Wars stuff. Oh yeah, they have Ultraman Mecha Collection kits now as well. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's something I missed. That was Shmo. There's some motorcycles. Hmm. And the Waterline series by Tamiya Hasegawa and Alshima. That's a huge model. This is, uh, yeah, this is Tommy out here. There's the Tehaviland Mosquito. That is one big, expensive model. That is Jipungus. There's the uh, Spitfire. Mark 8. In the middle. And it looks like a, what's that, a Mustang? Yeah. Pacific Theater. Hmm. There's the new Mazda Roadster. This is the uh, Mazda Miata, as it's known in, at least in the United States, North America. That's really cool. That's brand new, I think. Just recently came out. It was in the past several months. And these little race car thingies. And not too interested in any of this stuff. This is what my daughter likes. We, we do this together. I did a video of this, um, I think last year. My, my daughter and I, we, we, we came here and designed some neat stuff. So uh, you can check out a video of that. Or maybe I'll put a... Uh, link in the description to this. Very very charming, very beautiful. And you got some t-shirts and stuff here. And the gift shop. Lots of different stuff for sale here. This is kind of cool. I was thinking about maybe getting one of these. Like that. This is pretty cool. It's a star kebab. Little street vendor. That's really cool. They have um, Fujinamiya yakisoba. That's really great. So many. Very cool. And look at this here. The P40 Warhawk eggplant is unfortunately. See, it does not have the Republic of China decals. It has British and American, but they don't have the Republic of China, unfortunately. I don't know why. Japanese model builders never do that. This is the... I recently picked this up. P38 Lightning. Really neat. Now these are all 172, so they're they're kind of uh, in small, small boxes, you know? Is that a tarantula? Oh, wow. Hey, this is new. Look at this. 
It's a kind of like a futuristic um, construction. <laughs> Very cool, the cockpit. Hellcat. Very cool. From the, uh, um, shoot, what's his name? My mind is drawing a blank. Yeah, that's right, Leiji Matsumoto, his, his manga, the cockpit, very cool, very, very cool. Lots of neat stuff. Tools and stuff. Neat, neat, neat. Here's the Star Wars Bandai. Brand new. Nice. Very neat. All right, well, thanks for watching. Tom here, gloves. This is an iPhone cover. <laughs> That's cool.